Welcome to Story Station, episode 37. In this episode, I'm going to teach you about the Indian holiday, Diwali. Hope you enjoy it! Diwali is the festival of lights and is one of the major holidays in India. It is not only celebrated by Hindus, but by most people in India. Diwali is celebrated 20 days after the festival Dashara and usually comes around October or November. It symbolizes the victory of good over evil, knowledge over ignorance, and light over darkness. Diwali is also known as Deepavali and, comes from, and the name comes from the Sanskrit word Deepa, meaning a lamp or a light, and the Sanskrit word Avali, meaning a continuous line or series. This is because the festival is celebrated for five days, and on each day you worship something different. On the first day of Diwali, people clean their houses and make rangolis, which are artistic patterns you make on the floor out of colored rice and flower petals. This is to prepare for puja, a worshiping ritual, which is the next day. The second day of Diwali is called Naraka Chaturdashi, which celebrates Lord Krishna and Satyabhama defeating the evil demon Narakasura. Narakasura was an egoistic demon who thought no one was more powerful than him. He kidnapped 16,000 women and even stole the mother goddess's earrings. Krishna's wife Satyabhama saw how terrible he was, so she asked Krishna to teach him a lesson. They had a long and eventful battle, but Lord Krishna came on top at the end. The third day of Diwali is the most important, as it is the day when you do the main puja, celebrating the goddess Lakshmi. People celebrate Lakshmi because she is the goddess of prosperity and auspiciousness. On this day, people will wear new and fancy clothes. They will have big feasts after puja and will give gifts and sweets to each other. And most of all, they will light lots of fireworks. On the fourth day, you celebrate Lord Krishna, who saved the townspeople from the heavy seasonal rains. Lord Indra was in charge of these rains. So he made all the people pray to him so it wouldn't rain. Krishna saw this and thought it wasn't fair. We should pray to the Govardhan mountain because it is the one that gives us all our resources, he said. All the townspeople agreed. But when they didn't pray to Lord Indra, he got very angry and made it rain continuously for eight days. Lord Krishna knew he had to do something. So he took the Govardhan mountain and held it up with his pinky finger over all the townspeople to protect them from the rain. Lord Indra soon gave up and realized he couldn't fight with Krishna. In gratitude to Krishna, people performed the Govardhan puja on this day. On the fifth day, you also celebrate one of the two things, depending on which part of India you live in. The first, is called Bhai Duj, which celebrates the bond between brother and sister. It is like the other Hindu festival, Raksha Bandhan. The second is a commemoration for the architect named Vishwakarma, who is said to have built the city of Dwarka, where Lord Krishna ruled. You celebrate this by doing Vishwakarma Puja. There are a couple stories about how people first celebrated this ancient holiday. One story is about the birth of the goddess Lakshmi. The story starts with the Asuras, or demons, and the de Devas, or gods, both wanting to get the nectar of immortality. The only way to do that was to churn the ginormous ocean of milk until it came out, which meant they had to work together. After churning the ocean for a whole millennium, they finally got the nectar of immortality. 
but not before other auspicious things came out of the ocean too, and one of them was the goddess Lakshmi. People celebrated this by lighting lamps and having a festival. Another story about the origin of Diwali is about Lord Rama. Rama was exiled into the forest for 14 years because he was banished from the kingdom of Ayodhya. When Rama came back to the kingdom, all of the people celebrated by lighting lamps and having festivities. Rama became the king. He led an ideal kingdom, and they all lived happily ever after. This whole story is an ancient epic called the Ramayana, and is much too long and eventful to cover right now, so this would be a good story to elaborate on for another time. Happy Diwali! I hope you have great Diwali celebrations. Thank you for listening to Story Station. We are adding stories as frequently as possible, so check back often. We would love to hear your feedback and any questions you may have. Thank you.